This is Kelly Hill, technology reporter for RCR Wireless News. I'm here with Mike of LBA Group, and we're going to be talking about the work that they do in terms of interference. Yes, Kelly. Uh, interference is becoming an increasing uh, issue with wireless communication and other devices that folks use today in uh, all areas of our life. And you'd be surprised at some of the sources that our rapid response interference team is finding that causes serious problems to cell sites and other uh, wireless devices. For example, fluorescent light ballast in nearby buildings, uh, medical equipment in nearby facilities close to a cell site can be the culprit. And I imagine as machine-to-machine -machine wireless connectivity becomes even more prominent that this is something that people are going to have to be more aware of. Absolutely. And some of the more forward-looking uh, folks that we've talked to are uh, in the initial stages of their construction looking at ways to make sure that uh, the different systems that they put into a facility are compatible with each other and don't interfere and also are able to operate in the macro RF environment that exists at the building. So planning ahead of time rather than trying to fix things later. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, Mike. Thank you.